Alex, I'm just changing your name here. Uh, we'll open it up to questions. For Alex Forza. And we'll start with Eric Scopel from 247 Sports. Back to back games over 300 yards in the ground. I'm assuming that's something that you guys take great pride in, but just talk about the way the offense, I guess, continued to, to gain momentum on the ground. And, and I think that was just a, con a continuation of the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You know, we're really proud of, uh, you know, the way we ran the ball the past. We just got to keep on going, can't get comfortable with it. Um, and I think the coaches put us in a lot of good positions um, in terms of game plan wise, what we're going to run. Um, and I think overall as an offensive line, you know, there's there's a few plays we wish we could have back, but, you know, you, you can't apologize for running for 307 yards or 305 yards. I can't remember exactly which one um, it was, but, you know, it was, it, it was a true testament to the O-line and, you know, uh, running backs, quarterback, it, they all did a great job in the run game, um, played a huge part. Tight ends obviously are huge in our, in our system for in the run game, um, you know, the young guys went in there and they, you know, they did their thing. So it was, you know, really, really happy to see that, excited to look at the film and how, how we can get better. Zach Neal, Duxwire. Alex, I know this game just ended, but uh, you guys have Utah next week, and we all know that's a very important game, especially with the fact that you could potentially be playing them twice within the next month. Um, I'm just curious if you could talk about how, uh, how important that is this week and uh, how much emphasis and intensity is going to be in practice. You know, it's huge. Like, like, like KT said, um, when he was just on here, the, every game's a playoff game in the, in the Pac-12. Um, every game's going to be really competitive. You know, Utah's a great program that they have been since they joined the Pac-12. They're always a really physical team. Um, you know, front seven is always – front seven and their, and their O-line is always, you know, a point of emphasis and, and something that, you know, they pride themselves on and we pride ourselves on. Um, so they, they've done a great job with that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready, excited for the opportunity. Max Torres, Ducks Digest. Alex, you guys came out to a, a quick start in this one, you know, 14 nothing lead, and then we get to halftime and, and it's knotted up. How big was it to, to come out in that first drive of the second half and, and, and score and just how, how much of a confidence booster was that for you guys? Well, it was huge. You know, we the, the most important part of the game, well, I mean, we always say fourth quarter, but the you know, a lot of people talk about the middle eight. So the last four minutes of the of the second quarter and the first four minutes of the second half um, are what decides the game a lot of the time. So, you know, we wanted to come out and just and just start fast, um, you know, start fast and kind of send a message. So that, that was our goal. And all we were saying in the locker room is that it, it was zero zero. It's a new game um, for the O-line. We just said play play with fresh eyes. You know, they, they were running a lot of stunts. Um, we just expected to see a lot of a lot of different stuff uh, in the run game and and in the pass game as well, um, but especially running the ball. Time for two more. James Kripe of the Oregonian. Alex, their main guys got theirs by way of production, but two tackles for loss, man, is the least they've had against the non triple option team in five years. So, mm -hmm. as complicated as they are, and when you're the center and Stone and Woods and Rogers and every which one of them, you know them all. Yeah. What does that mean to you? You know, it's big time. Um, you know, we really, it's, I think, I think Coach Mirabal or Coach Chris Ball said it before, kind of their stunts, it kind of, kind of makes it feel like Star Wars guys are just going across your face, you know, every, every different way. Um, it really causes a lot of issues um, a lot of the time. And, you know, I think, I think schematically they put us in some great positions where, you know, there was linebackers in, in places that were, that were perfect for combo blocks. Um, we kind of, we get, we can maximize our combo blocks. I'll say, um, having me work with the play side guard and the back side guard, whatever it was, um, we were doing. You know, I think George and Steve and, and Dawson. You know, all the guys that played guard today. You know, it was it was it was a really good. Uh, you know, they they kind of held the guys up for me when I went and kind of found their hip, and that's that's the verbiage we use. But uh, you know, really kind of digging in on the double teams, um, and I think. That's a, that's a testament to the coaches and putting us in those positions um, to be able to do that and kind of take time on the on the first level. Last question, Matt Prem, 247 Sports. Yeah, Alex, kind of big picture here. Can you just put into context the difficulty of winning in November? It seems like no matter the opponent, it's always a tough game, always a close game, and just the significance of navigating through that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, every obviously every game is important. Um, you try to go one and zero every week, but it's it's the point you brought up. It's you're remembered for what you do in November. That's that's kind of what Coach Mirabal told us. So that's a huge point of emphasis for us. Um, just finishing strong. You're in the fourth quarter of the of the regular season. You got to finish strong. So when we when we hold the fours up, we got to mean it. Um, you know, going into the fourth quarter, that's when we got to 
you know, really crank up the juice, crank up the intensity um, and just, and just finish. So I think, I think that's the biggest part is you want to be the team that finishes strong. Um, so I think for us, it's, that's always a huge emphasis, um, especially in the fourth quarter of this, of this regular season. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate your time. Congrats awesome. on the win. Have a good night.